Hey everybody, I wanted to give you a quick Voyager update. I did just get this email regarding Voyager and Binance.us about just setting up your Binance.us account so that once this bankruptcy hearing goes through, Lord willing, um, we will be able to easily access our funds. You know, you'll already be all set up on Binance.us and can move forwards from there. Now, I did want to mention a couple of things in this email and I will uh, post screenshots of it and put it on my Discord. Link down below for that. It is free. And then towards the end of this video, we're going to look at Bitcoin at an important level to watch. We are potentially going to break it, so watch out. And also VGX, what's been going on the chart for that one. This email basically says that, you know, they encourage you to start the process of connecting your Voyager account with a new Binance.us account, or if you already are a Binance.us customer, just link that up. But essentially, you can transfer your Voyager account data to Binance.us and click opt in. Now, for any customers in Hawaii, New York, Texas, Vermont, uh, Binance.us is working on obtaining money transmission licenses or exemptions just so uh, users in those states can access their funds. Now, if they are not approved for that, people in those states don't necessarily have to worry because you will still just get your distribution in fiat regardless of what you do with binance.us now if the plan isn't approved by april 18th with a potential one month extension so keep that in mind so in reality may 18th latest the agreement allows voyager to immediately move to return value to customers meaning that you know that's if the deal isn't approved then we're going to go through this whole auction process again. And for those of you that haven't voted, keep in mind that, you know, your deadline is February 22. So it is coming up. And then we're also subject to a hearing after that. And then hopefully this can go through and we will have access to our funds no later than summer. Now, I did want to bring up VGX on the chart and just show you guys these kind of uh, manipulative patterns that have been going on. We've seen this before where we get this huge pop. We get a little consolidation. Some people probably anticipate another run, another you know leg up but that doesn't happen it just starts slowly pulling back from there and this has happened many times where we just have this huge pop and then just like a slow pullback and we're seeing it again here we had a nice pop all the way up to 80 cents and this was uh just like there's like an article going around or something that caused this to absolutely pop or no it was an investor observer article that had no real merit or anything to it but you know regardless that caused a little pump and started a pullback here now i did mention earlier in another video to watch this level it does look like we're breaking it and we're continuing downwards now the way i see it if vgx token does get approved on binance.us they are currently reviewing it you know if it gets approved that'll be a great thing for vgx if not you know where's the use for this token there are some places that support it but in the us it's just about impossible as far as i know to actually access vgx on other exchanges you can go on gate.io there are a few others that you can go on if you're out of the us but let me know if i'm wrong here but the way i see it you know is binance.us if we do get that approval it'll give vgx a fighting chance but let me know how you feel about vgx are you actually planning on holding it for the long term or once we get our funds would you potentially sell your vgx if able to now i also wanted to pull up bitcoin because we are approaching an important level if we do break this 22,300 area we're going to be in some trouble likely so keep an eye on that level we are literally bouncing off of it and a breakdown will likely cause bitcoin to come and test this twenty thousand dollar area i welcome it i'd be happy to add some more bitcoin while i have a chance but you know if we do bounce off this and start pushing our way up, look for a break of 23,700. And if we can break out of that, look for a break of 24,250. We did wick up to that point. If we can break out of that, Bitcoin will likely move huge. But you'll notice we really didn't establish too many strong supports on our run up here from this, you know, $17,000 area. So just be cautious. If we do break it, we do have an area here at 20,800, like I said, you know, and if we break that, there really aren't many levels of support. Some could, of course, be established. You just got to play it by ear. Now, if you haven't casted your vote yet for Voyager, make sure you vote, regardless of if it's yes or no, just make sure you vote and make your voice heard. Those of you that are familiar with this channel, I just wanted to remind you that I am going to be covering a Clean Spark earnings. It is going to be coming out after hours. So stay tuned for that. But let me know down below what you think about Bitcoin lately. How are you feeling about it? Do you think we're going to pull back or do you think we're going to start pushing new highs again? Or at least new recent highs. But thanks for watching guys and have a good day.